Welcome back. Today we're talking about understanding case sensitivity in variables. In JavaScript, all variables and function names are case sensitive. This means that capitalization matters. So here we can see my var is not the same as my var nor my var. And we can do a quick example of this. First, let's just comment this out so we stop getting this error down here. Bring this up a little. And we can create a variable var year and set its value to 0 0.2 2020. And then if we want to print this out to the screen, this variable, what happens if we do it with a capitalized Y in year? We'll get this reference error, year is not defined. And this is because um, year here has this capitalized Y, which is considered different than the year here, even though it's all the same letters, it's different capitalization. So to JavaScript, this capitalized year variable does not exist. And we can see that if we change this to a lowercase y, then we'll get our value 2020. So again, capitalization matters. Okay, let's get rid of this and uncomment these and go on to the next part of this challenge. So here we talk about best practices. Best practices in JavaScript are something that is considered a good practice that most JavaScript developers do. So this section is just helping you prepare for the way you'll see variables written in most code. And you can write your variables out however you want. You could create your variables all in cap locks like that. You could create variables um, with, you know, long underscores, anything you want to do. I'm not sure why I wrote help. Anything you want to do, you can create them. But the best practice and the common thing to do in JavaScript is to use camel case. In camel case, multi-word variable names have the first word in lowercase and the first letter of each subsequent word is capitalized. So these are our examples. Here's a great example. We have the first word is all lowercase and then every word after that variable and name has its first letter capitalized. That's all camel case means. Okay, now we'll go scroll down here and see what our challenge is. Our challenge is to modify the existing declarations and assignments so their names use camel case. Do not create any new variables. And these are all of our tests. So when in doubt, when going through free code camp, just try to get one single line of these working and then, you know, work your way from there, try to do the next one. And I think that's a helpful way to break down what seems like a really big challenge at times. And that's why they're here. Okay, you can also run your tests, and every time we run our tests, um, we can see what's passing or failing. So if I just hit this button, we can see everything's failing because I haven't started the problem yet. Okay, so let's go change these to proper camel case. So this one already is in proper camel case. Um, so I'm just going to be lazy and copy this and add it here. Okay, so now this uh, declaration as well as this assignment are both in camel case. Now let's go change this one to studly, first word all lowercase, and then cap far. And again, I'm just going to take this and kind of lazily copy and paste it here. In programming, laziness is a virtue. Okay, so lastly, we have this title case over. We can see the problem here is that the first word has a capital T when there should be no capitalizations. So we can just change that and then again, change it down here and then we can run the tests and we passed. Great, I'll see you in the next video.